Hello, it's great to see you here today. It took a long time for me to decide what I wanted to do today, but I chose the kayak because I have the perfect spot for it on my scroll, and it's a really easy shape. It's sort of that stretched out eye shape. Now I've got a couple of really bright colored pieces of cloth here. So I decided to go with the pink because the yellow, it competes a bit with the yellow submarine there. And I'm cutting out that long stretched eye shape that comes to a point at either end. And kayaks are quite distinctly Canadian boats, but if you would like to do a rowboat or something else, you could certainly do it in the same way. I think the only real difference is a rowboat is just a little bit wider than a kayak. So I have this other cloth that has this circular design in it that I thought would work really well for the spray skirt and the little person. So I've cut that out as well. And now I'm just going to go around my kayak there with a simple whip stitch. And I'll go all the way around till I get back to the beginning. I know that these last few months, stitch-wise, they haven't been quite as challenging as some of the things we were doing earlier in the year, but I think that's quite all right. Not everything has to be really hard where we're working kind of right at the edge of our abilities. It's nice to do things that are easy and quite straightforward. So doing this sort of raw edge applique and stitching on these little bits really it's a really satisfying process to me because it's very relaxing and I like to see what what the results look like. So the only thing that I would point out is if you've got a really sharp point on your raw edge applique, you want to make sure that you secure that point quite carefully so it doesn't get frayed because those little teeny narrow bits of thread there are going to come come apart quite easily if they get touched and rubbed over time. So I make make a point of stitching right into that corner edge there. And if you don't mind it looking a little bit rounded or scruffy, then that's perfectly all right too. And I have chosen to go with a color that's a little bit darker than the pink. It's a kind of a dark, reddish burgundy color so it bl blends in nicely with the pink boat and it's not quite as noticeable and it's a personal choice if you want to have a contrasting edge that can look interesting as well if you want to use a color that matches very closely then it's, it's hardly going to show up at all it will blend in with the edge but i like slightly darker threads and it gives a nice shadow line around the outside edge and you can accentuate that shadow line too by using a blanket stitch and I have to say I wasn't sure what I was going to do for this last one I really 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 been wanting to do an underwater treasure box but I, for some reason, I couldn't quite bring myself to do that. So I don't know why. It's still in my mind. I still want to do it. But I also really wanted to do a kayak. So that's what I just settled, settled with. Again, I'm back at another corner here. So I'm going to, again, make a point of stitching right up to that pointy edge so that it's well secured and won't get frayed. And now looking at the shape of this kayak that we're looking down from a bird's eye view down right onto the kayak, this could also look like a surfboard or one of those stand up paddle boards. It can be a variety of things depending on what you'd like it to be. And now that I've got all the way around and I've stitched the, the body of the kayak down, I'm now attaching this middle part. So some kayaks, not all, some kayaks, you sit in the kayak and then you have the spray skirt that's snug onto your body and then it fits onto the kayak so it stops water from 
getting into the kayak and it keeps you drier than than if water were to splash in and I think those are the type of kayaks that you would use in cold water most frequently and those are the kind of kayaks that we often have here in Canada but I have used other kayaks that you can just sit on the top of it and my friend actually has an inflatable kayak that you just sit you sit in and there's no spray skirt and they're just recreational things that you do for fun in warm weather and they are they're lovely they you sit really close to the water and it's quite a beautiful perspective to be out in the water paddling along beside a shoreline and just seeing seeing everything on a beautiful sunny day that's true I imagine that it's something that you do more out of necessity during cold weather and that's when things went slightly wrong the rest of the film for this video ended up being out of frame so I'll just talk you through what I did for the rest of it so you saw me sew around and attach the spray skirt so the next thing that I did was I used chain stitch to create arms for my person that's sitting in the kayak and then I used chain stitch in white there to create the paddle and kayak paddles have I don't know what you call those things they have things on both ends I used large chain stitches to do that and then the last thing that I'm adding is this little X that modern day kayaks often have which I think is a way to carry the kayak or perhaps to to secure things there to hold things down so I did a big X and then I secured the center of the stitch just with a tiny little straight stitch to hold it down Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed this series up till now. Next month I will be doing a few more videos showing some finishing touches and some little bits and bobs just to finish off the year. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy stitching for now.